another good par from Megan, but we're on another par five. I'm gonna try and like shape it round. All right. Perfect drive. You'll like that one. Yeah, that was position A. The, the hole goes around, so by hitting it up the left, that's as short a second as I could have had. Yay. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a reachable. Yeah. Oh, keep turning. It's a really good strike. Oh, and it's oh, it's taking a nice kick. Yeah, we got a nice little bounce. I'll so take it. Good shot. Thanks. Both of us going at the par five and two. Eagle. <laughs> Stay in the present. I told you that. <laughs> I do feel like I cut it. Uh, so you about? I feel like I need to hit the five one. Yeah. Even though I could. You got to try and clear that front. I think edge. I potentially could get the hybrid there. Yeah. 188 you said? I got two builds to the fly. Okay. Little wind. wind. Hybrid or five? Go with the five. Just make a good swing. Aim in the right. I think even if it pops over the back, I think it just goes over and it's an easier shot back up the green. So, okay. you know, fully commit. going to work that well but par five par five <laughs> eagle pup eagle, <laughs> eagle pitch eagle bunker shot nice approach here steve-o 175 75. This is a great hole. I love this one. All Have I said that about every hole? All above my feet. So I'm aiming right corner with 8 iron. Okay. 175, 8 iron. I like it. This one says eagle butt. Right all over it. Exactly where you said. Stay in the air. Stay in the air. It's on there. On the dance floor. Eagle pop, Megan. <laughs> I see it right up there, right in front. So Megan took a skip forward. You'll see, and we said this last time we were here, the bunkers here are waste areas, they're not bunkers. So you'll see there's footprints and stuff, you can ground your club. And we drove the cart through them. That's really we did, and the bit we were allowed, we haven't been in there because it said you weren't allowed in there. Part the, the cart path that drives through. Yeah. So Megan, got the bunker shot here, lots of break in this green, so you need to almost aim right into the middle. Ooh, too much ball. Eagle putt. Very spinny. Eagle putt. Did I mention you have an eagle putt? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so we're back with another eagle putt for Steve. Looks like he has 18 feet uphill, right to left. I actually had someone like literally two days ago comment on last year's one saying, oh, I did the same, I came here, it was awesome, but I hit it on the par five and three putted as well. So. 
Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> Pleased you had a good time though. <laughs> I think we're gonna rewrite the story here. Let's 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 rebalance. Let's go for an eagle. Yeah, let's pull the flag the out because pull the flag out because this one's going in. Or keep the flag in and make it. Oh. All right, birdie's a better story than birdie. three putt for putt. You don't leave eagle putt short, Megan. <laughs> hey, <sighs> I'll take a birdie. Birdie's we good. needed that. We were over par. Back to level. All right. That's all you can ask for, Megan. That's all you can ask for. I'm hitting mine. I'm chipping mine in. So this is one of those holes that I would say was a risk and risk hole. <laughs> I'm not sure if the reward is there. <laughs> but the green is so severe. Like if I don't clear the bunker, it's now impossible to hit it. But if I remember last time, I didn't hit a pretty good one and I didn't clear just. So he looks like he's still going for it anyway. So this will be fun. So he's going for the green. And he's flared it out to oh, the right, really quite far. Right. Let's see if I can find it. Flurry off to the right. Yeah. I think you have to go that way. I just don't know what the shot is. Like yeah. If you were playing in an event, you would have to spend half an hour here hitting every club you've got yeah. basically to work out what the best option is. I mean I'm glad you went for it but I will be going off to the right over there. A lot, really a strong wind too. Yeah there's nothing much going for me there. One strategy to go swing to where I hit it so. <laughs> yeah. So if I hit it 200 yards to the right I'll have 100 yards in. Yeah. Yeah I think I it's a good design because it encourages wallies to go at it. You know, I couldn't, it felt so risky to go that way, whereas... I think that's the play, yeah. I, you just go for that one. Yeah. When you try to hit that safe shot and you snap hook it and yeah. it's tough. We could have problems now. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. No, Definitely as, as in neither of us might be able to find our ball. That ain't interesting. That's sad in a better ball. I'll be able to find it. So Steve is in play here. Um, he's got probably about 60 yards, 50 or 60 yards here. But a massive, massive false front and great play. Come on, big skip, big skip. Oh, spinning back, way back down there. Welcome to Tobacco Road. <laughs> I got the contact, I pulled it a bit. I thought you hit it exactly how you wanted to. Yeah, it come out a bit further left. Balls above my feet. Yeah. This happened last time, you remember? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't finish this hole last time either. <laughs> well, neither of us did. This one you gotta get back there. I mean that's actually fine that he's over because if you hit it anywhere short it's rolling all the way back down to where he was. It's not too bad. This would be a heck of a part. Mm. Tough hole. There's not many three 
330 yard holes where yeah. you're like but you it's really clever because you can't take this slope out of play if you're coming from the waste area yeah you know you almost need to hit it's better off being way back hitting like a seven iron in so it comes in flat and it just rolls here and then you just deal with it all right two bogeys on the card now better than my max <laughs> Yeah. All righty. All right. So you have 150 here. Part three. 150. That's kind of an. That's a full. That's a full pitching wedge. There's a little bit of wind in there, isn't there? Yeah, there is a little bit. I'm just gonna hit a smooth nine. Good. Back to one over. <laughs> Get a two. Not really two territory, but it's on the green. Giving you the green light. All right, Go nine on. iron for me too. You're, you're the par three specialist, aren't you? Yes, that's right. So how far? Uh, 122. 122. I'm going to hit a little knockout 9 iron. Yeah. It's turned over by my ball, but should be okay. On the green? Yeah. Long cut, but... Yeah. I think we're over there. How? Slope on the back. Yes. Coming back down. Yeah, that's what that's what I was saying. I think we're probably gonna have to now putt down that. Uh -oh. But uh, we'll be next to each other. We can give each other a helping hand. Good thinking, Megan. I thought it. Twos are overrated when you've had a hole in one already today. There's no point, is there? I'm really surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised too. It must have landed there. All right, so Steve with another long birdie opportunity here. Come on, stretch. What do you think that thing is over there, the wooden structure? Pardon? Pretty cool, that like wood yeah. thing. There's just some really neat characteristics on this course. Kind of has a cool vibe, like when you go in and get a beer inside, or yeah, in the golf shop. No, it has got a cool. It's just a cool place. Staff are really nice as well. Yeah, they're cool. But what would be nice, Megan, is you got a freebie. Freebie has got to be off the right. Downhill, so it would be scary, but. Let me just send this on its way. Good line. Come on, come on, come on, boosh! Mega buzz, back to level. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Thank you. It was like hanging, wasn't it? Yeah. it it's like, I don't want to break. Oh, actually, I will. <laughs> awesome stuff. Thank you. Two, the par three specialist. Oh, yeah. You did say that, didn't you? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.